hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome to 8.2.2 final path that is going to be a weapon with dark old pages and intercept criticals war broth, war path and aggressive the defenders are going to be mr negative juggernaut spider ham carnage modo and quicksilver ending up with boss deadpool so for the nose, the first one is going to be Warpath, so whenever we attack a Purify a debuff, the defender will gain a Fury. But then if you intercept, all of those Furies will be removed and they are converted to a degeneration, dealing 100% of the attacker's attack damage. And the next one is going to be Weapon Dark Hole Pages. So whenever the defender will crit or hit into your block, they will inflict a stagger on you and if the nullif buff is nullified, you get 200% you get extra damage. So, right off the bat, use champions that are stagger and buff immune. And for to remove that weapon, you just need to intercept. So that will remove the weapon. Then you don't have to worry about the in, uh, about the staggers at all. And while the defender is unarmed, they take 200% extra damage from criticals. And the defenders are going to be very aggressive and keep dashing into you instead of blocking. Now the best suggested counters I can come up with is use your stagger immune champions so overseer, hulk, omega sentinel thing, all of these work. You can also use buff immune champions so titania, ant-man, spider-man 2099, red guardian, spot are some good options. And if you don't have all of them then assisted intercept champions can also work so for example your professor x, your elsa, your hood, your strife, your abedimo all of them can work well. But the highest, higher suggestion is to bring Stagger Immune and Buff Immune so your life is super easy. For your Mastery and Boost, your Mastery setup is pretty straightforward and simple. For your Boost though, I would suggest you to use a 20% and a 10% attack boost if you have just to finish off the path faster because it's a very annoying path. I personally use a 20% so uh, that's an option to go. And again, uh, ouchies and non ouchies both work, and stagger and buff immune champions are the best way to go. The boss island is going to be Deadpool X, Electra, and Domino. I am not able to put up the video because my memory ran out on my phone for the boss, but the path video is there, and let's jump right into it. The first fight is going to be against a Mr. Negative, so the one thing you need to avoid is blocking the opponent. Try to hit him in the block and try to intercept. It would be much easier because you he, they are going to be aggressive. Once you do an intercept, the weapon is disabled, then it is safe to block. Now the easiest way to do this path is to bring in your stagger immune or your buff immune champion so you don't have to worry about the stagger that can be placed on you. But just for this fight, just to show different options, I am using a Valkyrie here. Now with Valkyrie, I have to be careful of not getting uh, staggered. So until the weapon is disabled, there's nothing to worry about. Once the weapon is not disabled, I will have to put an intercept in. And again, once I have the intercept, the weapon is disarmed and I can go back in attacking the, with, the, uh, uh, with Valkyrie. Now an amazing champion for this path would be your crossbones. If you run him with Punisher 2099 or uh, Red Skull Synergy, he can remove all the debuffs and he can also become <coughs> stagger immune so that is an amazing option. Otherwise you can bring in Valkyrie and try to hit it in the block, she is also a good option. Some of the other best options are going to be stagger immune champions or the champions that are buff immunity. They will make this part really a joke. Defender number 2 is going to be a Juggernaut, same concept, try to use a Stagger Immune or a Buff Immune Champion, in this case I have an Overseer, he is Stagger Immune, uh, you can also use somebody like Hulk, uh, you can also use somebody like Spidey2099 with Buff Immunity and they will work well, you don't have to worry about the weapon node at all, all you need to do is to focus on uh, doing an intercept and once you do an intercept that will remove the weapon from the opponent and then you can go in and attack 
I am using an overseer and I am boosted. I'm using a 20% boost and a 15% and a 10% boost just to finish off this path faster because it is an annoying path. So I would highly suggest you guys to use boost and that will help you finish off uh, and do some extra damage with one of with your best champions. Defender number 3 is going to be a very tedious spider ham. I am going to use my 7 star Elsa Bloodstone and because there is easy way to intercept I can easily disable the weapon and I don't need to worry about the staggers. Once the staggers are gone it's a regular spider ham fight and on top of it Elsa Bloodstone can also remove non damaging debuffs so that also helps with any kind of power sting or taunt debuffs I get from spider ham and you are able to take him down and because of warpath and easy intercepts you can easily convert all of those furies into legion and that helps you take down spider ham so all in all uh, as soon as you get an intercept your life becomes easier and rest is a regular spider ham fight Defender number 4 is going to be a carnage. Now this is the easiest fight of the lot but is just annoyingly long because of the armor and physical damage resist on carnage. I am using an overseer and I just want to build up to an sp3 and then throw that out and start doing damage to carnage. His sp1s and sp2s are easily blockable. All you need to do is either you bring a buff immune champion to go against uh, carnage or you use a stagger immune champion if you don't have those you can also use champions that can give you access to intercept easy intercepts for example elsa bloodstone professor x ebony maw you can use all of them but then you have to be careful do not block and get the stagger onto you until you disarm the weapon first so there's that's a slightly little uh, tedious uh, thing you have to look forward to but then apart from that it's not really a difficult fight it's slightly longer because of all of that armor and physical resist but uh, an easier one and you can take down on it Modu is up next, make sure that you bring in a good counter him. he can be really annoying. I am using a Spider-Man 2099 and I'm just gonna corner him and just keep throwing my specials. The SP2 Wither will also help me because of power gain. But you don't have only you use Spider-Man, you can use different champions also. Both uh, Hulk will work, Overseer will work, any science champion with buff immunity or stagger immunity or have an easy access to in the, with in the assisted intercept should work really well here. You just have to regularly play like Modo, do not push him to 3 bars of power, be careful when he goes into a power gain, all of that usual and you can bring down Modo. Relatively easy, again it's not an easy defender to deal with especially with all the shenanigans going on. So yeah, you have to be careful to bring him down and do bring in the right counter for him.
and the most annoying fight is going to be a quicksilver now because the way he works he uh, he uh, performs so many hits in one for you know the regular five hit combo you need a champion that can deal with him either with his evade and you know you can easily intercept him or use your stagger immune or a buff immune champion so you don't have to worry about all of his hits but uh, i am using here nick fury because nick fury is a really good counter because uh, Nick Fury starts with 6 tactical charges and stops Quicksilver from invading so that is quite a bit of help and you can land an intercept early so you don't have to worry about the st potential staggers that can be placed on you and even if those staggers are there you can just use an SP1 to knock down and remove those staggers so but to avoid all of that I would say just use stagger immune or buff immune uh, champions they should be the easiest way to take down Quicksilver so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm sorry I couldn't put the boss on this video because my memory on my phone got full but this is the whole part. So I hope you enjoy guys and I'll see you on the next one that is going to be 8.2.1. Bye.